Pay homage to the lineage of Guru and the three children of the world. Nearly similar to our second all Bodhisattvas. Third to all Herukas and Dhamma protectors. We are inviting the primary supplicants for this Homa to come forward and present the offering of Hatha to the lineage of Guru as a symbol of the highest honor.
们以热烈的掌声，感谢师尊的赐福。恭请圣尊加持摊位佛具供品。哦Inviting His Holiness to take the Homa throne. Inviting Simu, all the ref masters, reference. Our distinguished guests and all participants, please take the seats. Invite His Holiness to bless the prayers of the primary supplicants. To our lineage root guru, to preside over this black-faced golden mother Homa by offering ceremony, and we would also like to give warm welcome to Simu and all participating masters, reference, and all participants from all over the world. Black-faced golden mother Homa by offering ceremony has now begun. Visualize to the lineage. Namo Vairokana Buddha. Namo Buddha Lokana. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Padma Kumara. Namo Living Buddha Lecha. Visualize Grandmaster and all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas radiating light to bless us. We said the Guru Mantra seven times. Om Guru Yen Sen Si Ti Hom. 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 Yen Si Ti Jo Di An Tu Di. We say purification mantras and the deity mantra. Om Shri 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 Sopha. Om Shri 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 Sopha. Om Vajradan Ha Ha Hom. Namo Samanto Modaran Om Duru Duru Devei Sokha Yen Zao Chin Zo Risa Invocation Mantra Om Ah Hom Sokha Om Ah Hom Sokha Om Ah Hom Sokha we sincerely invoke our Lenin Shri Guru, His Holiness Living Buddha Lian Shang, the Maha White Padma Kumara. Our Lenin Shri Guru, the White Maha Padma Kumara, His Holiness Living Buddha Lian Shang. Our Lenin Shri Guru, the White Maha Padma Kumara, His Holiness Living Buddha Lian Shang. We sincerely invoke the main deity of Homa, the black-faced golden mother. The main deity of Homa, Namo black-faced golden mother. 
the main deity of Homa, Namo Blackface, Golden Mother. We sincerely invoke Namo Yamantaka, Akalanata, the four heavenly kings, Golden Mother of the Primordial Pama, Sama Bodhisattva, Limbo Temples, all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Hedukas, Dhammapalas, Dakinis, and Divinities, all the deities enshrined at the True Buddha Tantric Quarter, at the Seattle Lizang Temple, at the abode of the Southern Mountain, and to Buddha Seattle chapter. Rainbow temples, mountain god, earth god, plant god, wind god, water god, heavenly fire god, dragon gods, all divinities as well as the city gods to please radiate light and bless this home. Great home is using visualization. First, the root guru and all Buddhas. Visualize for prostration on the ground, the disorder. Second to all bodhisattvas. Visualize for prostration on the ground, the disorder. Third to all hedukas and tama protectors. Visualize for prostration on the ground, the disorder. Fourth head bow. Great mandala offering. Form the offering mudra. Visualize the transformations of the offerings to become innumerable to fill the whole space. Make the offering about the lineage root guru, all lineage gurus, the main deity of Homa, the black face golden mother, all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Herukas, Dhammapas, Dakinis, and Divinities, and below the all sentient beings. We set the offering verse and mantra, Mount Meru for continence and sun and moon, transform into princess offerings for the Buddhas. May these wondrous treasures and merits purge our karma to a love of self realization. Offered refuge, visualize our lineage root guru, all the lineage gurus, Buddha jewel, Dhamma jewel, and Sangha jewel to form bright white light to empower us. We said the mantra. Armor protection. We said what Japanese mantra. Om Bori Dantari, 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 Om Bori Dantari. Inviting His Holiness to perform blessings with Mama. Inviting His Holiness to bless the registration forms, prayers, and all the offerings, and set ceremonial demarcation with Vajra Bell and Scepter.
恭请圣尊金刚棒开炉节。恭请神尊点燃护魔火，供应下炉的化，应该以佛的力气爱超度大地。护魔火供开始，并大家供应护魔尊者。第一个，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，祝诸位，The emergence of the deity, the merging of the deity with the Homa fire, and the merging of yourself into the Homa fire. Visualize the Homa fire burn away all negativities and karma.
Recite the heart mantra of so the eight principal deities and Ikai Buddha Mitabha. Merit dedication. May all uphold the Buddha, ascend the Lord of Atmos, be so being for four generous with this one above, aiding those in the three realms below, upon seeing the Buddha, may we transcend the Buddha, may we live. We dedicate the merit of this ceremony to our Lenin's root guru. May you stay healthy, live a long life, with great self-class to me, continually turn the Dharma wheel in samsara. Inviting his holiness to perform the overall merit dedication. Wholeheartedly, we pay homage to the black faced golden mother. Wholeheartedly, we pay homage to the black faced golden mother. Wholeheartedly, we pay homage to the black faced golden mother. We pray that the spirits will receive your blessings and be guided to the pure lands. We pray to the Black Fist Golden Mother to please bless Face Golden Mother to please bless all participants with good health, all wishes fulfilled, calamities transformed into auspiciousness and strong commitment in their spiritual cultivation. We pray that you bless us with abundant resources, with sufficient merits wisdom, increase radiance, benefit from their spiritual cultivation, and improve spiritual fruitions. We pray to the Black-Faced Golden Mother to bless everybody has their wishes fulfilled. May auspiciousness with us during the day, at night, around the clock. Amidst the auspiciousness, we pray for the blessings by the Root Guru, absorbed by the Yidam, and protection by the Protector. May all of our prayers be granted. 
to the gods of the heavens, gods on earth, may we be far from calamities, may all calamities abandon us, let all disasters turn into dust, may all obstructions vanish. <laughs> ดิสันตุสัพพะมัตรัสวิทัยสัตโตตัมมะยามานุปานายาเปตตะสัตโตเตโนปาติธาเตจอมเมปังวะสุตโตขะเยเมปังวะสัพพะขะเยเมปังว
some educators, some teachers, some instructors, some assistants, directors of temples and chapters, all disciples present here and over the internet. And our participating VIPs today are Accountant to Buddha School, Dharma Sister Teresa and her husband. Producers for Gene Gensha Shinton from CTI TV Taiwan, Dharma Sister Rebecca Xiaqi. And Dr. Zhang Xingli. The rep to the council from Taipei City, Dharma Sister Xie Hui Li. And daughter of the former council from Kaohsiung City, Dharma Sister Wu Mei Xian. First, I would like to announce for next Saturday, Sunday, September 10th, at 3 p.m., there would be Hayagriva Homa Fire Offering Ceremony. The Homa today, what is special for the Homa today was last night we talked about Master Lian Teng and today during our Homa, Master Lian Teng he descended, he came. What a coincidence. And from beginning to end, he was here. And, and afterwards, Master Lian Miao see if you would see him or dream of him because he appeared for a very long time in the sky I decided the Hua Guang or the Lotus Light Buddha Master Lin Teng and today, we performed the black face of the Golden Mother of the Jade Pond. Soma. Oh, I have not said my greetings. Good afternoon, everybody. I haven't recovered until now. I apologize. It's, I was up there and it's hard to put into words. <laughs> I made a loss of four words. I'm sorry about that. Because this deity kept 
talking, wanted to talk, and I didn't let her talk. That this deity, the black fish golden mother, wanted uh, to talk. Yeah, let her talk. But that would make. <laughs> oh. It's best not to. Please don't catch me. She's very fierce. And she may turn the table over. She's quite wrathful. No, I'm back to normal. Oh my God. During the merit dedication earlier, I could not say the few sentences, and Golden Mother stated it, but I didn't say anything. She wanted to express, she wanted to attach to my body to catch the ghost. But she wants to enter into my body. The black faced golden mother specializes in catching the ghosts, and she specializes. In the nether world, and she wanted uh, to attach to my body and catch the ghosts to show to everybody. And she wanted me to jump from here. And she said, It'll be fine. And when I was young, May be okay to jump like that, but now if she attaches to me and I jump like that, catching the ghost, and if I catch the wrong person, what would happen? She's very ferocious, very powerful, so I had to calm myself down. So that, so that uh, we are not attached, so that there's a little distance between us. So this deity specializes in catching the ghost, and she was about to demonstrate uh, catching the ghost, and she could turn the tables. In the thought that is that to turn over the stable and then I jump down to the ground and then catch the ghost from someone's body. She was going to do that, and I said, No, no. If you turn the table over, how can I keep Dhamma teaching? And then if jump down, and at this age, if I jump and my legs are not ready, 
and she asked me to go to one of the disciples and catch the ghost. But I can't do that. If it's a man, it's fine. But if you catch a woman, if, if it were a woman, that would be uncouth. So I rejected her request. So that's why I was a little bit incoherent in my speech. So little did I know that the black-faced golden mother is like that. So the mudra, the mudra is the same as the golden mother. And the only thing different is that she's holding the seven-star sword. And the function of the seven-star sword is quite remarkable. You can say that it can be used. To step the ghost to death. So she swings the sword to catch the ghost. There was something that I like to tell you. Grandmaster and Simu built this rainbow villa and used their own money and asked Master Lian Si to hire developers to build it. There were no fundraising at all for the Rainbow Villa. At that time, Master Lian Bao, who is now at Las Vegas, Master Lian Bao drove us on I-90, and all of a sudden, we saw a rainbow that rose from the ground to the sky, a huge rainbow with many colors. And it rose to the sky. So we followed the rainbow and arrived at this place, the Rainbow Villa. And this piece of land was for equestrian, uh, for horses, with the horse stalls. So I bought this piece of land. At that time, we didn't want to build anything. And Master Lian Pao uh, rented like a buckle to, to level the land, the ground. And there's a total of 40 acres here. At that time, it was very cheap. And then we built it. You know, but there was something really uh, serious was that uh, the wind tunnel, there's a wind tunnel here. In the fall and winter, the wind is very strong, as if all the wind uh, gathered at this place. And as we walked, we don't it's like we could be blown by the wind and all the leaves would blow to one direction. The power of the wind. So on one side of the trees would be only on one side. 
so at that time, at the beginning, Grand Master expounded on the Fo Xu Zhong Shu, the complete topic on Buddhism, complete talks on Buddhism, and words through the grapevine that ex attended that exposition. And upon the completion of the talks, there was a strong wind, and all the trees moved, and the roof were blown, almost blown away. And that was at the end of the talk. And they walked up from the building, and they could barely walk uh, with the wind blowing so hard. Everybody was wobbling. And I remember X said this statement. You know what she said? This rainbow villa was found and by Grand Master Lu and built the rainbow temple. How could, how could that be so horrible that the wind is so hard? That when the wind blows, everybody couldn't stand still and the trees and the roofs were almost blown away. And she had said this. How could that be so? And that's already quite hurtful to Grandmaster's heart because the rainbow villa, the piece of land where the seven stars convene, how could that be so horrible? How could there be such strong wind that blow every day? in the winter time. Master Lin Yin was here. How many of you were blown by those strong wind? It was really horrible. And her statement meant that, look, the piece of land that you chose that chose where the seven stars convene. How could that be such a horrible wind? What kind of holy sacred land could that be? So it was a very ridiculing, a very undermining comment. Have you heard her giving Dharma talk? Did you ever hear her say this statement? This is Taiwanese. She said that Nai Anesia. She would remember this. So when I heard her comment, I also felt quite that how could I have chosen such a piece of land where the seven stars convene. So I prayed to Golden Mother Please find a way so that we don't have such wind uh, storm anymore. And, and she told me to draw the flag of the seven star subduing the wind. 
So I drew it with seven stars. And what the Black First Golden Mother is holding today is the seven star sword. One hand is holding the celestial duster and this other hand is holding the seven star sword. And the seven stars wind subduing flag was buried at the top of the hill where there was a cabin. The cabin, the log cabin built by the Boy Scouts next to it. I buried the flag of the seven stars subduing the wind. And then, now, is there a strong wind in the winter time? No. No, it's gone. So we have subdued the wind. There's a King County here. There's a King County office here. Of exit 25. At those times, people who live here had to live with this uh, windstorm every winter. Now it has gotten better. No more winds, storms. And the leaves on the trees are even. At those times, they were only on one side. Once I buried the flag of the seven stars subduing the wind, then all is calm and windless. No more wind. Nothing to be strange about. That's the power of Golden Mother. She can stop the wind. That wind tunnel was really severe. That the roof was almost blown over. There's none now because I don't spend my winters here these days. Much better. Lian Qin and Lian Yin went to King County. Did you ask them? They said that there was strong wind before, and now it's, there's no more. That's because of the Rainbow Villa, and then because we buried the flag of the seven stars to subdue the wind. And King County, the people at the King County office said, the same thing. There's no more wind these days. And the black faced golden mother, when she is in performance, she's in actions, then all those evil ghosts will be eradicated. The words that I didn't say earlier, that the black faced golden mother uses the strongest black wind storm to blow all the evil ghosts into hell.
，啊，这一尊你请回家哈、哦，不是这一尊。<笑>啊 ，So if you uh take her home, not this one, but any statues that you can invite home, then all the ghosts will run away because the black faced golden mother has such power, and she was about to catch a ghost earlier, and she said she wanted to attach to my body, turn over the table, and jump down and catch a ghost, and catch ghost, and I don't know who she was going to catch. And then you pull out the seven star sword and step all over. Oh no. Swords are not to, for chop, it's to stab or to cut. How could we have done that? Because we are all disciples, they are all disciples, and you just want to show. But if if whom you are catching is a beautiful girl, then how can I have? Can I do it? But if you're trying to catch Juru, maybe I'll just. Make, take advantage of the opportunity uh, to beat him. But if it's a beautiful girl, then I wouldn't want to beat her. So let's stop chatting. And for the next Sunday, the uh, Hayagriva. It's also quite powerful, also very ferocious. That's the horse-headed wisdom king. So she, he is like a horse galloping. And look at the cars. We always say horsepower. The horsepower of the cars, and they ran very fast. The same with the horse head, Heruka. The horse symbolizes that he is as fast as the wind. Also very powerful. That's next Sunday. And there are many Tibetans practicing Hayagriva or the horse head. Uh, Heruka, and also in Japan, the Hayagriva is very popular, and the Hayagriva uh, Purba is also very popular in Japan. It's very powerful. The mantra of the black face. And the same mudra, and in visualization, what's special is she's holding her left hand is holding the seven star sword. I have three seven star swords. With two mudras, when my guru transmitted in my Taoist lineage, is all with the seven star sword and a seal, a seal that's being transmitted from the earliest guru to the current guru, and then transmitted it to me. And I place the sword and seal inside my study where I write books, in front of my bookshelves, 
There is a sword and a seal wrapped in a red cloth. So when we travel, or when we perform rituals, we have to carry the sword and the seal. So the seal represents the lineage and also the sword. The origin of the black face golden mother is from Jiyosan in Tiantai. She went to the place of Golden Mother, and Golden Mother gave her a black pill. The black-faced Golden Mother gave her a black pill, and what is this for? Is to communicate with the ghost by taking this black pill. Then you have the eyes that can see ghosts and you can talk to the ghosts and you can deliver the ghosts or you can eradicate the ghosts. If it is a good goat, then you can deliver it and an evil ghost has to be eradicated or wiped out. So Chiyo san had such power and she told me that and there was also a red pill, a black pill and a white pill that were about to be given to her. But the black fish golden mother gave Jiu San the black pill because there may be red and white pills there will be other functions for the red and white pills. So she's like a, a medium that she would let the ghost to attach to her and speak to people. So like a deceased mother would attach to her body and speak to the son or daughter. So the one I met at the Jet Emperor Temple was Jiyo San. And then she was the one that told me that Golden Mother was looking for me and asked me to kneel in front of the altar. And I told her, I, I know nothing, but Golden Mother was looking for you. And I told her, I, I know nothing. And she said, as soon as you kneel, down, then you would know. And she was very pushy, very forceful, so I kneeled down. And now this is what happened. That's how it all started. So this is the, the crucial, crucial point in my life, the most crucial turning point in my life at the Jit Emperor Temple, Yi Huang Gong. And Chiu San kept calling for Katsu, my nickname, Katsu. The Golden Mother is looking for Katsu, and I am Katsu. And Golden Mother is looking for you, she said. And I said, what for? And then she said, maybe to ask you to help her. And I said, I, but I don't know anything. I'm not capable of anything. And she said, just kneel down. Once you kneel down, then you will be able to. So unwillingly, I kneeled down and joined my palms. And in my eyes, there are a golden rays appearing, golden light rays appearing, and Golden Mother appeared, and Amitabha Buddha appeared, and Siddhigarbha Bodhisattva appeared. One by one, they appeared. And the Jade Emperor Temple wrote two words. 
种 loyalty， and e is righteousness。我就看到这两个字。I saw these two words. And the emperor said, "These are your principles for all your life: loyalty and righteousness." When I learned the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Lucas, John. In the Bible, the verses Matthew, Mark, Lucas, John, and these are the four books from the four disciples of Jesus. And all the things that his disciples did. The last one. The last one. Corinthians. 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 Thessalonians. Judas. And maybe I'll forget a few books in between. These are all the books in the Bible. I was a Bible study teacher, and all of a sudden, I kneeled in front of Golden Mother and joined my palms and had the vision of that. So I started to study Taoism, and then later Buddhism. And then, tantric Buddhism. Now let's talk about Lamdi. Those were all from the past. The warmth appearance. Of the accumulation of the light drops. The warmth appearance of the accumulation of the light drops. One uses the power from his practice to turn the wind and circulate the qi. Uses the kundalini fire. That's the inner fire. This is strange translation. In Sanskrit, it's called Kundalini, and it's translated to become Tantalini. Kundalini. That's in Sanskrit. To open the channels and melt the pure ambrosia, when the light drops first blazes with heat, there will be pain of the light drops. When warmth is generated from the movement of the light drops, bliss is generated. When warmth comes from the robustness of the light drops, merits. Will be generated. That's the explanation. So the warmth appearance, the accumulation of the light drops. Let me explain it. You use the qi from your spiritual cultivation to generate the light drops. And the light drops will rise to open your central channel, and then to the sides, melt all the sides. When the fire rises, then it has the function to melt. The channels that were blocked were all melted. To become pure channels, and the central channel is open. 
When the light drops first blazes with heat, there will be pain of the light drops. During the melting, there would be some slight pain. At the brow point, there would be some slight pain. When it's melting, there would be some slight pain. When the light drops are moving, what are the light drops? They are secretions. Like yesterday, I was talking about the secretions. Things that you secrete in your body. There are secretions from the heart, from the liver, the kidneys. All the internal organs secrete some secretions and they are all called light drops. And the light drops accumulate at certain points in the body. When the light drops move from this body chakra, when the body chakra melts, it would drip down and moves down. In the beginning, there would be some slight pain, and then there would be bliss, extreme bliss. It's not ordinary bliss. Now, let me talk about something mundane. The bliss between man and woman is the same. And the woman will secrete light drops, and the man will also secrete light drops. When women secrete the light drops, in mundane term, is called climax or orgasm. Once you have orgasm, the woman will be blissful. And when the man is having orgasm, the man will also be blissful. Although they are the same bliss, but when the light drops move, the bliss generated from the light drops moving is different from the bliss experienced by the man and woman during intercourse. The light drops melting and follow flowing inside a long central channel to the secret chakra. The bliss is very long. Very long. It lasts very long. And the bliss in intercourse is rather short. And for a man, it's even shorter, just a few seconds, or at most one minute. And it ends in a few seconds. And for the woman, the bliss is slightly longer. From the book, some people can have orgasm for five or six times, some for 20 times. And from what I know, someone that can, be, can have a hundred times, you will not believe it, right? The record was someone with a hundred times, and then some someone just once or with no orgasm. So that kind of bliss generated from the movement of the light drops. It's not just like between men and women. It's more blissful, longer, 
So it's like you're in heavens and you have death. It's just one person practicing by himself when the inner fire rises and the light drops stripping, the bliss generated from it is much much more blissful ten times or hundreds of times than the ordinary bliss. So if you go to heavens, the bliss that you get there is much more than the bliss in the human realm. Maybe hundreds of times more or thousands of times more. And in the realm of desire, where it's symbolized by bliss, is much more than the human realm. And the bliss from Grandmaster's spiritual cultivation is also hundreds or thousands of times more than the mundane bliss because the inner fire has been ignited and the light drops is dripping. And this kind of bliss can um, can eradicate all kinds of sufferings, all kinds of afflictions. So this kind of explanation is very clear to everybody. They are all secretion, but the bliss between man and woman is just a little. But the bliss of Grandmaster is different is to melt all the light drops and to let it ascend and descend, descend, ascend, descend, ascend, holding it and dispersing it. And the bliss from it can only be found in meditation. The ignition, the rising of the inner fire, uh, the melting of the light drops, the dripping of the light drops, and the movement of the light drops can generate bliss. And when the warmth comes from the robustness of the light drops, merits will be generated. So this is merits inside your body. So I said, my inner fire has been ignited and I have key formulas in order to ignite the fire, both for man and woman. So for Grandmaster, in the inner tantra practice, I have attained fruition in my non-leaking dharma practice. I will never leak this like cement, which is the man's light drops. Definitely never leak it. If I have leaks, then you can say that I'm bragging. But when you prove and you show that you have no leaks whatsoever, then the bliss that you have is ten times more, hundreds times more, thousand times more than the ordinary bliss between a man and a woman. So when the light drops become robust, the warmth generated can generate merits because you can prove the bright, clear light radiance. So the light drops would become more and more. So what is merits is because the luminosity, the bright radiance will be generated. If you don't follow, Grandmaster's pith instructions and formulas, and you have inner fire, I will never believe it. But words through the big wine, 
X at the Padmakumara Hall. They have a Padmakumara Hall there. And she was practicing inner fire, and the inner fire was ignited, and then all of a sudden, all sariras were generated. But she had none of the sariras because they were all stolen by the disciples. And you said that your inner fire has risen, but I have not taught you how to ignite the inner fire. What Grandmaster have written about igniting the inner fire. I will not make it public here. I will not tell you. But Milarepa was the most important lineage guru for inner fire practice. The Vajra Yogini, Tumo, or inner fire practice. How to ignite the inner fire, the merging of the water and fire, and then to open the five chakras, the brow chakra, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, the navel chakra, and the secret chakra. Using the fire and water to melt the five chakras and open them. Only then you would be able to see your Buddha nature inside the heart chakra that it would generate the blue light. This is a tantric practice. In meditation, the inner fire is ignited, the light drops strip, and it would, it would merge at the brow chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, and then you open the heart chakra first. And you would discover when the heart chakra opens, inside there's a bright light, and this light would be emitted through your skin pores, then there would be the same as the lights, rays of light emitted by the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the aura. The aura around the head, around the body, and around the lotus throne. They all came from this. And what is this? This is the merits, that you have generated merits. That the bright radiance is the merits that your whole body is pure, has been purified. So this is the tantric spiritual cultivation, and this is just in a nutshell. And how do you train in a non-leaking practice? Grandmaster use the, the short practice using the the six, the sakya, the six postures. That uh, the tongue, the tip of the tongue, touch the palate, and uh, pull down your chin, and pull your tummy to the back, lift up the anus, and the two eyes looking up. The tip of the tongue, uh, touching the the palate and pull in the chin and breathe out all the upper chi and push your tummy to the back and then lift up the anus. So then once you succeed in your non-leaking, then you ignite the inner fire and then you perform the sword, the single sword practice. And then when the fire rises and the light drops drips, then you open all the sakras, and then you open the brow chakra, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, the secret chakra, the navel chakra, and then once you open the navel chakra, then you would know about your past lives, and then your heart chakra opens, then you would know about what other people think, and then when your brow chakra opens, then you would have all the supernatural power of seeing and hearing. And when your whole body emits light, then the supernatural power of the complete leaking 
is achieved. So that's a tantric practice, spiritual cultivation. So the warmth generated from the movement of the light drops, bliss will be generated. When the light drops first blizzes with heat, there will be slight pain, and then bliss, and then when it's strengthened, there would be merits. When your whole body is completely purified and emptied, that all your afflictions and worries eliminated. So today's teachings rather deep and profound. This is considered as the inner tantric practices, the practice of the qi channels and light drops. These were the light drops uh, dharma practice taught by Master Dukdan Dorji. And how do you practice the inner fire dharma? Before that, before the light drop practice, you have to do the inner fire practice first. You have to ignite the inner fire first. And X said that she has ignited her inner fire. But I never taught you the key formula. How could you ignite it? Because Milarepa's formula is not just the six portures which is the way he said, which is six triangles. So he would pull in his feet to where the inner fire is, which is the four finger width below navel. That's the place of the inner fire. Which is the place where you produce blood. You use your breathing to ignite the inner fire. And how is it ignited? You have to push, press, you have to tie it. So I'd like to ask you have you tied it? Because that's a formula, a key formula. Have you tied it? I have not taught you how to tie. Only after teaching you how to tie it, that your inner fire can be ignited. So you lied to me, saying that you have ignited your little fire without doing the proper procedures. Because anyone with the inner fire ignited will not lie. There's one important point that they would always speak truthfully. So what Grandmaster is teaching today is the, is the important fifth instructions, key formulas of the tantric uh, inner tantra practices, and they're all truthful. So X taught you to hypnotize, to guide subconsciously, and to let you go to the hell, and giving you clues. Hypno hypnosis is to see illusions. What you see are just illusions are not real. But once your inner fire has been ignited, then what you see is the real visions. Someone said that so he has been practicing at Grandmaster's place for a long time and didn't see anything and he went there. And he was climbing on the ladder and saw the past lives and went to hell to see the deceased family members or the appearance of Buddhists and Bodhisattvas. They were all just illusory. So hypnosis, uh, subconscious uh, hints and uh, going to hell 
to see the spirits. It's not so hard. You can just take in the hallucinator. Hallucinate drugs. Or like you take the the certain kind of glue like chloroform or something and then you, you breathe that in then whatever you think of will appear there are many people love drugs or addicted to drugs because they give you hallucinations but what use are they you know, the hints or subconscious hints of brainwashing, hypnosis, or going to see the spirits, they're all illusory. You want to see something? We can just give you those drugs. Very easy. So you are using this illusions to trick to the disciples. But I'm teaching you to ignite the inner fire so that you can have the real visions. I know that your inner fire has not been ignited, but you lied to people and told them that your inner fire has been ignited. So I need to talk too much. In a moment, His Holiness will preside over the, will confer the empowerments for the Black Fist Golden Mother, and the empowerment will also include the practice of the nine phoenix eradicating negative spirits and also the golden light mantra.
接受灌顶的义工同们，请你们速速来接受灌顶。灌顶即将就要结束了，还没有接受灌顶的义工同们，请你们速速来接受灌顶。热烈的掌声，感谢师尊赐寿灌顶顶礼坛城做观想大礼拜，一拜根本传承上师及诸佛。嗡啊，吽，观想顶礼，回天心三音。二拜诸菩萨，嗡啊，吽，观想顶礼，回天心三音。三拜诸佛法金刚，嗡啊，吽，观想顶礼，回天心三音。是平等，一起受。父母法会圆满吉祥结束了，感谢根本传承上师的大加持，感谢师母诸位上师、教授师、法师、讲师、智教贵宾同门善尽大德的护持，谢谢大家，阿弥陀佛。We now conclude this live broadcast. Thank you for your viewing.